Oh hey guys, I just finally got my observatory up and running and I'm about 120 feet away from my observatory and I'm running this from my computer room. Sorry about the mess. Uh, yes, I'm gonna clean this up. Uh, so I, essentially I'm using uh, TeamViewer to control my laptop in the observatory and uh, right now as you can see I'm imaging M76 the little dumbbell. I'm doing um, only 10 exposures of 4 minutes each at ISO 1600. And uh, oh, there's my son running around. This is awesome. I mean, the uh, images are coming down pretty good. I got 40 seconds on uh, on this image here. Uh, if you want to take a look at my tracking, it's actually doing pretty good. I had a little issue right here, but it's again, it's tiny. As you can see, the uh, the error is negligible, and I'm tracking with my uh, CGM2 pretty decent I'm only tracking at uh, two seconds I can't see that right now but it's tracking at two seconds and uh, it's not doing too too bad okay next image is coming down so let's take a look at what it's gonna look like it's downloading it oh nice image but of course as we all know what we get is either two satellites or a plane to ruin the image. Let's see, it's pretty pretty tight line. This one and this one, so it could be two satellites, which is kind of strange, but I never know. Unfortunately, it pretty much ruined the shot, unless, of course, I'm going to add it in and then I'm just going to crop. The nebula itself so usually what I would do is I'm going to simply put it as bad so that way I know um, the other images are actually decent and uh, just so you know I've got a new telescope and I've got the, the uh, 8 inch Richie Critchian f6 and it's set up on my AVX mount but it's not hooked up in my observatory right now tracking is using a Stellarium and uh, we're looking good for a good night of observing from the house, and I'm not going to be too cold. Oh, this is awesome once everything comes together. And, um, and that's that, but and I'm controlling. I'm doing this with my Nikon D5500 camera, and I'm using Backyard Nikon software, which is quite good. You connect to it, you can set all your settings. I'm shooting at ISO 1600, but only at um, four minutes, not going too long. On these images and they're coming out pretty good all right well that's about it and uh let's image some more see how it goes right now tracking looks pretty darn good